Hi friends, it's the new moon in Aquarius on Thursday. And um, I am feeling really happy because it's International Pizza Day. Who knew this was a day, all right? And I thought, man, I'm gonna have me some pizza and I'm gonna be happy and it made me happy. And I'm like, I'm gonna come in here and do a live and talk to my friends because I'm happy eating pizza on International Pizza Day. Is that a thing? Is it International Pizza Day or is it National Pizza Day? I don't know. All I know is I had me some pizza because of the holiday. Love it. So look, it's also the new moon in Aquarius. So I want to kind of look at that because I'm doing my own work around the new moon in Aquarius. And I thought I'd maybe share the experience with you. Um, this is a wonderful time of year because Rick, now remember, whether or not you're Aquarius or you're Scorpio or you're Cancer or Leo, it doesn't matter. When the sun moves into any sign, we all become more of that sign, okay? Now, the sun moved into Aquarius, I think on January 19th, it was January 18th, 19th, 20th. It's always around those days. Um, so I think it was the 18th of January. And what we want to do is understand that we are all a little bit of Aquarian. So what does that mean? Well, it means that we're a little bit um, optimistic and we're a little bit innovative. We're creative. Our crown chakras are more open. So we're more um, receptive to information that's coming beyond the veil. And it means we're also more able to do something interesting and sustainable with the information that comes beyond the veil. So all the creative ideas that you have right now are really important. Now, we have a new moon in Aquarius on Thursday, okay, the 11th. And what we want to do is first of all, understand that where the new moon is, the sun is, or maybe I should say where the sun is, the new moon is, because a, the moon is new when it's occupying the same sign as the sun, okay? Now, what does that mean? It means that whatever the sun is doing, the new moon is doing as well. And we use the new moon as a time of manifestation, like what you want to create, what you want to give birth to. Oh my God, I'm having an emotional moment because I have some really big dreams personally. And I was just, I was at the dog park today and I was talking to a friend of mine and he's so lovely. Um, he's a new friend and he was saying, Crystal, you've inspired me to move back to Europe. And I'm like, wow, that's a big deal because it's been in his heart. It's been in the back of his mind. And since we've been chatting over the last seven or eight months, it's moved to the forefront of his thoughts and he's made a decision to do something about it. And that's really powerful for him, but it's also affirming for me. And so the new moon is a time when you want to think about what your visions are. You want to think about what your dreams are, and you want to take the time to visualize them and to make plans for them, okay? So um, while we were at the dog park today, I pulled a tarot card for myself because he's not interested in um, getting information that doesn't arise from within him, which is perfectly, wonderfully reasonable. Um, but when I pulled a card for myself, because, you know, I'm in California right now, 
but I can't wait to get back to Europe. I gotta be honest with you. I'm excited about moving back home, okay? Home is where the heart is, okay? My body's in California, but my heart is in Paris. Being honest, okay? I've got I've got a, a storage um, locker full of all my beautiful Italian furniture and Italian clothing, okay? Seriously, like la the year before I left Italy, I bought a whole bunch of clothing. Yeah, it's all sitting in a storage unit waiting for me to come home and get it. But right now my, um, my heart is really being pulled toward Paris. And you know, our souls are not logical. Our well, your your soul might be logical, okay. My soul ain't logical. Your soul might be, girl. You got a locker full of stuff in Italy. You're going back to Italy, okay. But my soul is like, girl. You got a locker full of stuff in Italy, and you're going to Paris. You're gonna go to Paris, get your apartment, and then go rent a truck in Italy, drive that stuff back home. To its new home in Paris. And I'm just going, all right, soul, whatever feels right to you. I'm just here along for this beautiful, groovy ride, right? So anyway, I don't know why I started telling you that. Well, I think actually I started telling you that because ultimately I want you to understand that Aquarius has an open crown chakra. Okay, so all of our chakras are very open right now. We are very um we're all very receptive to learning um, what our soul and what God, the universe wants for us. So taking the time right now to actually um, follow your heart and to pay close attention to the visions that are coming. Pay close attention to your dreams. Pay close attention to the feelings that you have and understanding that you have the power to make those feelings real. So I was in the dog park with my friend and we were talking about both of our dreams, right? My dream to return and his dream to go forward. And um, I took a, a tarot card for myself and I pulled the Princess of Pentacles, which is also, also the, um, how do they call the princess? Um, I'm having a brain fart. It's because I had pizza and beer. I had a beer one. Okay. Um, the princess is also known as the, not the knight, but the, the baby knight the the gesture the page hello page of pentacles so i pulled the page of pentacles or the princess of pentacles and in the deck that i was using which was the druid craft tarot it showed it shows a young girl and she's looking down at a coin one coin and she's studying it contemplating like hmm and that card told me that I'm really considering going back to Europe. And the message of the card is like to really think about this idea of returning to Europe, okay, with the understanding that it is a possibility. And the reason I'm telling you this is because right now the sun is in Aquarius. We have big dreams, big ideas. And this is an opportunity for you to think about what it is you want, to think about the seed of your desire, okay? So the, um, the a pentacle, a coin in tarot represents the seed of an idea. And if you take that seed and you plant it in the ground and then you add a little sunlight, you add a little water, you add a little fertilizer and you add the right kind of um, circumstances and a lot of love and focus and determination, 
that seed is going to sprout and grow into something that you can see in the real world, right? Something that can nurture you, that, that can sustain you, that can blossom into more things, right? So this is the opportunity with the sun and new moon in Aquarius. And so what I want you to do is to take advantage of this wonderful opportunity and to go out there and get your dream, okay? Now, I have created, and I create one every month, um, an, a sun report for Aquarius so that you know what what's happening with the sun, right? And whatever's happening with the sun is also happening with the new moon. You can read that report and you can um, also, so you'll download the report and you'll also get the new moon ritual along with it. So I want to invite you to do that. And I put the link in the description for today's live. So I want to invite you to do that. Okay. Now, I'm not going to go over that ritual with you right now, but I'm inviting it for you to do that. It's free for you to download. And um, in that ritual, so there's the sun report, which talks about like the best ways to use the sun for right now. And I have to say, because I'm an entrepreneur, okay, because I love business, the report is geared toward business and people who are spiritual and have a business, right? So if you're a Reiki practitioner, tarot reader, but even if you're not, there's still some good information in there for you. Or if you're thinking about doing those things, then you'll definitely want that report. And then, of course, there is the actual ritual, which gives you a really beautiful new moon ritual. And there's a workbook where I um, give you some very important questions to ponder. And as you're pondering those questions, you are opening yourself to the energy of Aquarius or the energy of Pisces or Aries, which are going to be the next signs that I um, release in the coming weeks. Okay. But the point is that this is an opportunity for you to actually commune with your spirit guides and the new moon and the sun to create for yourself something really powerful. All right. So that's all I have to say for today. I put a link for you to actually get your ritual, get your download. And um, I hope that you will do this. And also, you know, I have my Facebook group where you can join me and talk about um, whatever experiences you're having with spirit and with building your spirit oriented or your spirit led business. Okay. Again, for the yogis out there, the healers, the spiritual life coaches, all you lovely beings who are out there helping the world transform one person at a time. Yeah. It matters. Anyway, I'm excited about what I'm doing. I'm excited about what you're doing. I'm here. You're here. Boom. Happy new moon in Aquarius. All right. Did you just hear Polo groan? I did. I love my dog. He's a hound dog and he's really lean and he has a deep voice. And so when he growls or when he groans, he goes. Mm. And that's how I know he's happy. All right. This is Crystal and Bell signing off. Wishing you a happy new moon. All right.